This is a preview video showing highlights from this video lesson. We are going to show if a technical diver using a dry suit had a wing failure with multiple cylinders, would he still be able to safely ascend to the surface? So here we go. We're at 36 meters, which is around 120 feet. And we don't invite people to try it at home, <laughs> but it's certainly um, to, to show the, the lift capacity sure. if it's needed mm -hmm. and how much as well. So what we actually did is we, we ended up taking the, well, simulating the failure with your wing, sure. using the backup buoyancy that, that wing had um, to establish buoyancy. Mm -hmm. And this was on a, a deep, deepish technical dive, or mm -hmm. the recreational limits anyway, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or the start of the technical limits, we could say. And you were easily able to establish buoyancy. Yeah, I, I think I think that the really the, the, the purpose of that exercise for me was to show that a correctly weighted diver mm. doesn't need these twenty kilos of lift or ten yeah. kilos of lift, let's say. Bass is correctly weighted and has just enough air in his dry suit to stop the squeeze. As he turns more on the side, we've added a aqualung or apex oral inflator. And it just actually goes to prove that air, even though you have a failure, does get trapped in some way inside the wing, providing some lift. Now, as I poke around a little bit here, I'm just squeezing out the last of that air. So this is why you definitely want to only use one bladder. We've again emptied all the air from the redundant bladder. So effectively, the BCD has no air in it. A good point to raise here is that Vass is using a lot of his breathing control and lungs to help him with his buoyancy. So the wing performance for a dry suit diver, well, I, I don't really see that having a very big impact. Yeah. Certainly not the way I'm diving my configuration now, but for a wetsuit diver, yes, that's now going to start to become more interesting. And sure. I think that well, you said it, Vass. Let's put that dry suit to the test then. So again, nobody should be trying this. But we've designed the BCD to be removable with bungees, so we cut it away. And now Vass has got, well, no BCD. You can see here that there is no wing. It's just a harness and dry suit. And Vass is actually wearing uh, two one kilo blocks of lead as well as the canister torch for his weight. Vass had a lot of safety throughout this entire dive um, because he is correctly weighted and he had several ways to regain his buoyancy control when we simulated a wing failure. Now of course we're not suggesting anybody dives without a wing. You do need one this complete video lesson is available at sidemounting.com for all subscribers that have purchased packages 1 to 5.